Language is the fundamental building block of thought. It is actually that fundamental language. You know, it's just talking, right? But no, no, you think in language. Your thoughts are processed through your brain in the form of words. When you think, how do you think? Try it right now. You'll see what I mean. Thoughts come in the form of words to you in your head. And that is incredibly meaningful because language is power. Why? I already said why. It's thought. You control language. You control the mechanism by which people form thoughts. Think about that. It follows. If one uses language to think, controlling language controls thought. If you don't have a word for something, it is harder to think about it and encapsulate it in your brain. It is an unknown. That is why, as humans, we have a natural instinctual drive to classify, to categorize, to group and sort, because we understand the universe by naming. It's fundamental to who we are. If you try to describe something without a name for it, you have to fumble for adjectives and words and try to put it together, but a chair is a chair. You know what I mean. It's like that. A chair conjures up the image of a chair. There are many types of chairs, but you know what I mean. I could go into further detail from chair. It is a red chair made of wood. All right, now you have a more clear picture. I've used like three, four words. You know, chair made of wood. You already have an image. Language works fundamentally like that. It's tied to imagery. It's tied to thought. It is foundational to how one forms opinions in one's own head. So, when one is thinking, the quality of one's thoughts is determined by the quality of one's language. If you do not have, like, abiogenesis is a big word, right? That describes a specific concept. And without that specific word, when you try to think of that concept, you have to actually think of all the parts of said concept. Abiogenesis, the creation of life without, you know, abiogenesis, without life creation, basically. But without that word, the concept requires a full explanation, even in my own head, because I don't have abiogenesis as a category with which to include these ideas automatically. So, when one has words, one has thoughts. By controlling these things, you control thoughts. By expanding language, you expand thoughts. And that is important. When you learn new words, bigger words, you learn new categories, ways to group things quickly. Words are, in essence, shorthand for thoughts and ideas. Because the raw thoughts of the human condition are sometimes ineffable. But most of what we think about can be encapsulated in the form of words, if we have the words to do it. Things that may seem ineffable may actually have a way to describe them, if only you knew the language, or if only our language had the ability to express them. It is supposed and strongly theorized that before language existed in people, we existed in a form of pseudo-amnesia, more instinctually driven moment-to-moment -moment beings. But language, which, by the way, is believed to have been derived from song, when songs started to convey ideas, specific sounds began to convey certain meanings. Song, they believe, is the essence of language, the beginning of it. So once language had begun to exist, people could encapsulate ideas, share them with one another. Experiences were no longer purely personal in nature. They were narrative now. You could tell others, share, understand, and thus civilization. One guy saw, you know, a seed fall on the ground, and when he walked there later, he saw a plant. Before, that was just something he knew. He couldn't really explain this concept to people, but then, with language, he could. Agriculture could be conceived of because people could tell one another these sounds that conveyed concepts in a manner that were digestible. Thus, ideas could be expressed. Thus, civilization could begin. It is, like I said so many times, it is that fundamental. Civilization itself, in fact, is built upon language. And on a more personal level, going back to that amnesia thing, as an interesting point, before you knew language, you more or less lacked the ability to form coherent memories. You may have flashes of memory, perhaps, of young childhood, perhaps young childhood before you had memories. I say perhaps because a lot of people don't. But even if you do, these are going to be disjointed, disorganized memories, perhaps even lacking a sense of time or cause and effect, because 
These are all concepts I just use words to express to you. And without the ability to conceptualize things, crystallize their essence with a word, almost everything is ineffable. That's what the word means, without the ability to express it in words, basically. If you don't have words, you can't really express anything. You can grunt and make noises, but without a set, agreed-upon, fundamental aspect that everybody knows, language, your grunts are sounds and nothing more. And so, the power of language is thought. The power of language is civilization. It is the ability to cooperate, to group, to categorize, to understand, to break down and make aware of, to convey ideas. But you need the words to do this. You need to expand your own language to convey better ideas. If I want to convey to you a term, I need to know the words for it. There's no harm in learning new words. Big words should be something you sit down and look up. Don't run away from them. Don't ask people to dumb down their language. Learn their language. If they're using big words you don't know, they're talking about concepts that you may not be able to grasp yet. Add them to your ability to understand. By learning the language behind it, you gain the ability to better understand what it is altogether. You gain a bit of its essence, if you will, in your brain. You understand it on a more fundamental level. and that is power. Understanding is power. If you don't understand something, you can't use it, you can't digest it, you can't turn it to your advantage, but if you understand it, you can. Language is power in almost every way imaginable. Just something to digest.